So, this week is Nashville Burger Week. What a what are the when does it end? I think it ends uh, this weekend. Okay. Cuz I've had s- several people that looked at my story from yesterday just ask me like, "Are you doing this all week or wh- how long are you doing this?" I was like, "I'm great to do it all week." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just let me know where and when. Right. I'll be there. But yesterday we hit up five spots. What was it? Smoking Thighs. Then we did... Burger Republic. Yes. And then we went to Fido. Mm-hmm. Then wow. we went to Farm Burger. That's right. And then we ended at uh, Jack Brown's. Yep. Yeah. Jack Brown's. And then I had Drake's you had the Drake's. previous night. And are you doing that tomorrow? I'm going to either get it today or tomorrow. Gotcha. Do Drake's for sure. And so for people who don't know what Nashville Burger Week is, um, how many businesses? It's like several... Yeah, it was... I thought it was over 30 this time. Yeah, there's quite a few. So 30 plus businesses are putting out specialty burgers for $5. And so we went yesterday and hit five of those spots. And those five burgers are just $5. We did two uh, burgers at each place and split it between three people so that we could actually try all those burgers (laughs) instead of... Having a burger at every place. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It does end on Sunday, by the way. Sunday. Yeah. Gotcha. So I don't know if people will even have access to yeah. this no. by the time. Uh, but it's good for us yeah. to remember. Exactly. So if we're listening to this in the future, we can remember the goodness. Uh, first, I want to say my favorite thing about yesterday is that it was National Hot Dog Day. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so ironic. I was just talking to someone saying, did you get a hot dog yesterday? And, no. <laughs> but yeah. I had five burgers. Yeah. I could do a hot dog today. It's probably like National Marshmallow Day or probably. something. Probably. There's a day every day for of something. something, of course. So we started at Smoking Thighs, and their $5 specialty burger is called the Flying Hawaiian or Flying Hawaiian. I don't know. <laughs> the G might not be on there, but the picture looked incredible. So that was a choice of Kate. Was it Caleb's choice? Caleb's choice, yeah. Yeah. So we went out there. I loved it. I thought it was great. The only thing I was a little bummed about is our first burger. <laughs> wasn't uh, a burger. <laughs> it wasn't <laughs> beef. It was chicken. But the chicken was great. It was ground, so yeah. it felt like a burger. But it was chicken. It had pineapple, teriyaki sauce. What kind of cheese? Was it provolone or something? Yes. Provolone cheese, coleslaw, Texas toast. For me, it was really good. Yeah, for me too. It was of the ones we went to, probably one of my favorites, um, because the, I know we talk about this, you and I, but the proportions were almost perfect on there. Exactly. The yeah. teriyaki sauce was incredible and they didn't put too much of it. I could have used a little more. And then the, the toast, the Texas toast, they salted the outside of the bread, which mm-hmm. I just loved. It reminded me of having like homemade garlic bread and you put some salt on the homemade garlic Ooh. bread. Man. Um, this is a mistake to do when I haven't eaten yet. Today. Right. Yeah, me too. And I will say, like, like you said, and like your one comment after we ate it was this would be a, almost a perfect 10 if it was a burger, <laughs> like <Yeah>. beef. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. The, the ratios, the texture. Yeah. I mean, the, the juiciness of the burger, but then the crunch of the slaw mm-hmm. and even the pineapple wasn't overwhelming. It mm-hmm. was like just a great. They cooked the mix. pineapple perfectly. Yeah, I don't know how, and they, they did the open face thing, so you could see the teriyaki was in the center of, of the pineapple. Which visually was awesome. Yeah, I was like, yeah. touche, touche. Yeah. I mean, honestly, other than the last one, which we'll get to, Jack Brown's, it was surprising to me that that was my favorite of the yeah, day. I agree. And I will say, beyond the burger, a uh, couple things is, like, I want to go places that are easy to park at. And of course, when you're in Nashville, mm-hmm. sometimes it's can be tricky parking at some of these places. This place was super easy to park at. Yeah. And then the atmosphere inside was very relaxed. Like when I walked in, my first reaction was, I want to come back here again. Mm-hmm. So I think all around that place to me was definitely probably my favorite atmosphere of all of them. Yeah. It wasn't like, and we weren't there when it was crazy busy, mm-hmm. but it, I could tell it probably wouldn't be crazy loud and you know, if you're there to watch a game or something, they had plenty of TVs, but not like it wasn't gaudy or anything. Yeah. So. It wasn't Buffalo Wild Wings. Right. With right. Just sensory overload right. at every turn. Right. You close your eyes and there's a screen on your eyelids. So we went from there to a Burger Republic in as the Gulch. Yes. Um, so 
parking in the gulch is a little crazy, but this one's right next to a parking garage. That wasn't too bad. Yeah, it was fairly close. I mean, parked on like the second story, but I mean, parking garage is right next to it. So, And the parking garage was free for the first hour. So, I mean, since we were just eating two burgers and we weren't there to socialize, it was mm-hmm. fine. I could see... You know, if you're not wanting to pay for parking, there is another location, I think, in Lenox Village or something. Yeah, yeah. Lenox Village has one. There's plenty of parking over there. Burger Republic has a great reputation, mm-hmm. and I know they make great burgers. I've been there th- two or three times to both locations. So I, this is not a reflection on how I feel about Burger Republic, <laughs> but it was the the Q Burger, I think they called it. Mm-hmm. Yes. Like pulled pork, also coleslaw. Was it pulled pork or was it brisket? I don't uh, remember if it was beef or not. I think it was pork. Okay. It probably was. So we didn't have burgers, beef burgers, the first two of them. That's funny. Well, the thing is there was a beef patty under the pool. Oh, that's right. Pork. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is funny. Yes. Uh, but the taste of the barbecue sauce uh, on the pork was so overwhelming that you couldn't taste any beef at all. And it kind of just tasted like barbecue sauce. Very, like, smoky. Very smoky. Delicious. It was good barbecue sauce, but you didn't know, like, afterwards you guys told me there was Benton's bacon jam on there. Yes. And I was like, what? There was? Yeah. There was supposed to be. <laughs> I saw it, yeah. but I couldn't taste it because the barbecue sauce was overwhelming. There's a lot of barbecue sauce on there. Now, I will say their coleslaw on it was pretty good. Yeah. It was crunchy. The mm-hmm. taste was really good. So, I mean, when you bite into it, it felt right. The taste was overwhelmingly barbecue sauce. A little bit dry, too. Yeah, this yeah the pulled pork usually it, you can get it like really not juicy but like tender right. and good flavoring but it's kind of dry and uh, and again all these places um, some of these these burgers aren't on their normal menus but this is their one time to shine mm-hmm. knowing a lot of people are going to try them for the first time yeah so with that in mind it's like you know let's put our best out there mm-hmm. so I don't know yeah it's like a hard. It's a hard thing. I appreciate all the businesses doing Nashville Burger Week. I know it must be difficult to try to do a burger for five dollars and know that you're probably not going to make right. your profit back on a lot of it, and just trying to get people in the door. So it's like, yeah, you got to put your best foot forward, mm-hmm. but at the same time, how do you manage the finances yeah. in that? Yep. So I, I know Burger Republic has good stuff. Yeah. If this was the first burger I had from them, though, I'd be pretty inclined not to go back yeah there's enough choices that wouldn't be on the list exactly. but i've had them before too as well and i liked my other experience so mm-hmm. i would definitely try them again exactly and then your uh, that was another caleb yes. uh, choice then your choice was up next and, yes uh, which was uh at fido's mm-hmm. and it was uh it was a small patty it was a burger that had gosh i can't remember everything on it. it had spinach which i actually loved not cooked it had spinach it had i believe it was swiss cheese yep mushrooms Uh and a garlic aioli yes and to me this was of all of them my favorite burger itself because to me it tasted like they uh they they grilled it over charcoal which gave it that extra flavor and of course they seasoned the meat some too yeah the Um, the meat tasted really great and the bread too like usually i'm afraid of whether bread will compete at all with a sandwich yeah or detract from it right but they did a good job of like the bun being good, but not like yeah. the main focus was the meat and the sure. ingredients and it was, it was great. And I know that, um, like the mushrooms, not everyone's a mushroom person. I, I really like mushrooms. There might've been a little bit too much on there, but, um, so I did scrape some of the mushrooms off, but I still liked it a lot. And the aioli was to me, it was one of my favorite sauces of the day. Yeah. And the, I mean, I'm not a huge mushroom person. I do like them. I don't think I would order them with anything really but if it comes with it i'll eat it and uh the mushrooms were actually really good like even the texture of them biting into them it wasn't like soggy or rubbery yeah that's true it was it was really good it was cooked very well um and and fido is in an area that uh can be tricky to park in when it's busy so that definitely i mean if you're thinking about eating there you want to take that into account to know yeah you're going to get a a good burger good meal it's a coffee shop Mm -hmm. massive so tons of seating Yep. Um, and very popular spot, so it was very busy, but there's a small parking lot in back, but it was full when we were there. <clears throat> Ended up parking quite a few blocks away, yeah. more than quite a few, actually. <laughs> I actually hatched a Pokemon egg right. while, we were walking, right. while we were walking. Um, <laughs> I actually got in line 
and Caleb found a table and you went to park, the park yeah. <laughs> just so he could be able to, to get in there. So it was a little hectic. It was. Granted, Summer Nam is going on. Yeah. The Story Conference is going on. Those are pretty close and it's a pretty popular spot. So if there are any conferences, which Nashville always has conferences always. going on, there will likely be a wait or a line of some sort. Yes. And it's an area too that you know, has great ice cream because Jenny's ice cream mm. is right there and there's other coffee shops. So yep. I would gather most of the time people might get a burger or something, but you're going to walk around for a while, which yeah. also makes it a little bit more difficult to park, but it's kind of a cool area to hang out in. Totally. If you find a parking spot. If you find, <laughs> which I did eventually. <laughs> yes. Yes. In Brentwood. <laughs> yes. And then from Fido, we went to, what was the spot? Farm Burger. Farm Burger. And it was called the Farm Burger. The Farm Burger. And we ate a farm, the Farm burger, yeah. I guess, which would be their signature burger. But it's, yeah, I don't know if it's on their menu normally, but um, that was another one of my picks. Mm-hmm. And so that had um, arugula on it for, yes. the, for the lettuce. It was a grass fed, um, grass fed burger with it had some bacon jam, I believe, on it. Yeah, peach chutney, and peach chutney. And then it did have a little bit of cheese, and I'm not remembering. I don't remember what kind of cheese, but it also had spiced pickle or candied pickle. Oh, not no, pickle. candied jalapeno. jalapeno. Yeah, candied well, jalapeno. Which I'm not a jalapeno person, so but I didn't mind them. Yeah. That it was, they, it mean, I am a jalapeno person, and I liked it. Yeah. That was great. So typically I would have not eaten any of the jalapenos, and I did try a couple, and I, and I liked it. I guess I'll start since I picked this place. My yeah. fault. Um, my fault. <laughs> <laughs> no, the place itself was awesome. Mm-hmm. Easy to park. Um, had some interesting things on the menu besides the burgers. They had a, was it a sweet potato hush puppy? Mm-hmm. Now, we didn't try it, but it makes me want to go back and try it. Yeah. Um, and the atmosphere was great. Just to walk up and order and sit down and they bring you your food. It, it, it was, I was a cool place. Mm-hmm. Um, the burger itself, and I don't know if this is what they're meaning to be because it's kind of the farm burger, but it wasn't seasoned at all. Mm-hmm. So you were tasting the meat and that's it. So some people I know love that and then... Some people, I'm pointing at you and I right now. For yeah. the, <laughs> um, we like seasoning on our on our beef, mm-hmm. so that was kind of. I'll let you talk about that, but that was kind of. I thought it was cooked well, mm-hmm. but it was definitely missing something for me. Yeah, I think, I think for me, the I mean the seasoning was missing obviously, but they cooked it really well. The texture of the meat was great, and I could tell it was quality. Mm-hmm. It was like, oh yeah, I, I wouldn't use fresh to describe beef very often, right? But it was like a fresh feeling to the meat. So I was just disappointed that there was no, like, even just someone sneezed and accidentally put salt on right, it or something. Right. Wow. I, I realize how that sounds. Sneezed, like, while holding, like, a salt shaker near it is what I meant. Not sneezing on On the burger, yeah. Yeah. Because <laughs> uh, that's rough. But, yeah, I feel like the ingredients, all of it was, like, the taste individually was all right. Mm-hmm. But... I feel like the peach chutney was a little bit of a stretch. They have just great ingredients. So if it was just the burger, like seasoned, not even like the cheese doesn't matter. Uh, there was, I mean, it, it looked like a see-through cheese on it. You it could did. see through, yeah. the, yeah, it through it onto the meat. The cheese wasn't really a, a highlight, but I mean, just arugula cheese and the bur- just a normal cheeseburger. The bun was good. Quality ingredients, just seasoned. I think that would have been... Yeah, I agree with that. And I'm big on like a chutney on a burger. I like mm-hmm. the sweetness, but what kind of disappointed me at a couple of the places is like they really talked about the bacon jam. And yeah. They would put other things on it that you couldn't taste the bacon jam at all, whether it was the barbecue sauce or the peach chutney kind of took over the whole thing. Mm-hmm. Like take yeah. that off and put bacon jam on or don't put the bacon jam on at all because you're you're not tasting that saltiness in there. Yeah. I mean, they weren't you, playing with each other at all. It was just, and maybe there just wasn't enough or too much of the other, mm-hmm. but it definitely, I mean, I would give that place another chance too. Yeah. Cause it, like you said, the burger was so fresh and maybe it just, we just need to sneeze and salt it ourselves. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They do have salt and pepper at the tables. Yeah. So it's, I mean, most restaurants do, but maybe it's in an effort to say if you want yeah. seasoning, here it is. But if, if you want to live GMO salt free. Right. <laughs> Whatever. There's the opportunity to do that. So it was pretty good. I like the atmosphere in there too. They Great. did have like a lot of selection of things. So yeah, they did. But then from there and the parking situation in the back, 
was easy. Yeah, a lot of parking. Yeah. Then we went up to your choice. Yes, Jack Browns. Jack Browns. So this is a place uh, in Virginia. Ja- there's a place called Jack Browns in Harrisonburg. I don't know if it started in Lynchburg and then went to Harrisonburg. Anyway, uh, I just know I've been to Jack Browns in Harrisonburg. Mm-hmm. Really great. Went once here in Nashville, and everything I saw was amazing. So I was, like, really excited to try their burger. It was called the Chupacabra. <laughs> yes, um, it was. So on the Chupacabra, they had something called Goat Cheese Supreme. And I'm looking at the picture of it right now, and it's just overflowing from the sandwich. Yeah, it's it, it's hard to describe, but it, it looks like almost like it's a huge marshmallow that's melting over. Yes. Like it's it's thick. It's not like a thin slice, which we know goat cheese isn't, but mm-hmm. I don't know how they got it to do that. Yeah, it was, it was definitely... Uh, supreme yeah <laughs> and then they had sweet chili bacon jam i think that, that was, was it it was very simple it was and then for me i think i had a little bit of a different experience so there were three of us that went and how we how we did all these places is if you chose it you got one full burger for yourself and then the other two split an a other burger so they could try it but not everyone was eating like five full right. burgers everywhere we went and so this was the one that I got the full burger on. And uh, the first couple of bites were so cheesy that it was overwhelming. But the second half of the burger was super well balanced, could taste the the jam, could taste the, the burger. The burger itself was really, really good. Mm-hmm. And I don't know if it was just because we had come from the farm burger. Right. But uh, the seasoning on it, I was like noticing everything in it. And I was like, oh my goodness, this is incredible. And so the buns were like really nice. It was just, to me, the chupacabra bit me and I bit back <laughs> and it was delicious. I, I agree. And uh, even though I only had half a burger there and really, to be honest, at that point, I was pretty full. Yeah. Um, because <laughs> I probably shouldn't have finished a couple of the burgers all the way that I didn't love, but I was still hungry at the time. Yeah. And my, my brain didn't tell my stomach, you know what, you probably should save some room. But the first bite was a lot of that goat cheese flavor, which I love goat cheese. It, it definitely changes when it's cooked compared to cold on a salad. Mm-hmm. But then I did make sure I get a, I got a bite with the, uh, the jelly, the bacon jelly on there. Yeah. And that was incredible. And like you said, burger wise, even though I loved Fido's burger, it probably was the best burger just because of, it was a little, it wasn't tiny. Yeah. Sizable. Know? It was sizable, but not, over, not too big. And it was just incredibly seasoned and cooked. And like you said, the buns and everything. So, if I would have been, if that would have been our first stop when we were really hungry, it would have by far been my favorite burger. And I think Caleb, who was with us, said it was his favorite burger by far. Yeah. Um, and cool atmosphere, like you said, just a fun place to hang. A couple side notes: the parking is tough there. Mm-hmm. Um, very small lot. Very small lot. Uh, it's near uh, the AAA baseball stadium in Nashville, so if like there's a game that night, I could see it even being harder to park. Yeah. But definitely worth it if you can figure out the parking. Another weird side note is, and you brought this up, is their Coca-Cola. We were, were getting waters mm-hmm. everywhere, but we decided we needed we needed a little carbonation in us, in us after four burgers or whatever. <laughs> their Coke was incredible. Yeah. And you don't usually get that at a place outside of McDonald's where, you know, it's noticeable that, wow, their Coke is really good. Yeah, usually it's like watered down Coke at those places. Yeah. Are, especially when they're more bar oriented. They're kind of like, right. we don't, our sodas aren't even like... If you want a soda, you're probably a designated driver. Right. right. Uh, but this place definitely did not skimp on no. the quality of just whatever water was in it and the mixture of the syrup. It was like... And the bubbles and everything. Like I was... Yeah. You mentioned it because I had gotten the water to start and then I was like, you know what? I need to get a Coke here. Mm-hmm. So I got one. I was like, whoa, this is good. I wish I would have had one earlier. Um, we also tried a couple sides at this place too. They had... we uh, You got a basket of fries and they were mm-hmm. the, the kind of the crinkle cut fries. Yeah. And I really did enjoy those. They were cooked well. And then There's you, a lot of them too. Yeah. Like if you ordered a burger and a side and you got that amount of fries... You split it. It was... Yeah. It was yeah, a lot. You don't need your own order. And I can eat a lot of fries, but I still... That was a lot of fries. Sauce was good with it too. Yeah. They had a fry sauce that was just a very similar to a comeback sauce, but mm-hmm. I don't know. There was something about it that was... I don't know what they had in there, but it was, it was super good. That made the fries better. And I mean, next time I went, I'd probably want that on my burger. Yeah. You know? True. Very if, true. I'm sure they have a burger that had it on there. It just wasn't the $5 one that day. And then you had some fried Oreos that you said yes. were incredible. <laughs> they were so good. I got one for my wife too, so I could bring home to Kendall and she tried it. I didn't tell her what it was. I was just like, bite into it. She's like, this makes me nervous. <laughs> She's like, oh, this is incredible. 
So even later, after the uh, the heat had worn out, it was still a really good. Yeah, for a smaller kind of bar focused burger joint, it did feel like all of everything they were bringing out. Because I was noticing what other people ordered were like, it was made to order. It didn't feel mm -hmm. like it was. They took it out of a bag and dumped it in the fryer. It felt like they were yeah. making stuff there. You know, with the, I don't know. It was just really fresh too. Even the burger, like you talked about, the farm burger felt fresh. This burger felt fresh in a different way. Mm -hmm. I agree. I guess that. we're saying that it was probably one of our favorite places overall of the day. Mm -hmm. And it being our last place when we probably weren't as hungry to say that, it probably really was our favorite of the day. After eating, I guess, two full burgers previously yeah. at the other place. Granted, it was over five hours, and I didn't have a full burger until that place. Yeah, so you were a little me, more hungry than I was. <laughs> yeah, I was, uh, I was ready for it, and uh, yeah, it hit the spot, so... And so uh, I am going to Drake's either today or tomorrow and trying their burger, but you had yes. it and you, you FaceTime me from here and your, <laughs> it was like nine at night your too. quote I was, like... was <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought something was wrong at first. Um, your quote was, uh, this might be the best burger I've had in my life. Yeah. I want to hear about this. One, it was in the evening, 830, I think is when we got there. And so the lunch rush, the dinner rush was already done so they're not just trying to churn out these burgers yeah so i think they took a little more time with it the cheese on it is brie cheese mm. that just a uh, melted all over the patty very like mild it's not like a sharp kind of flavor to it and it was paired with strawberry bacon jam and it was a little sp not spiced not spicy but spiced um uh, maybe with pepper or something in there and then it was, so it's peanut butter jelly and the brie cheese with the the burger peanut butter jelly brie cheese burger bun that wow like yeah my younger me would have not liked that when i'm talking about like the picky high school days but that sounds amazing i love the i've learned to love peanut butter on burgers mm -hmm. and jellies too yeah it's it's the flavors that you don't expect right so i so i bit into the burger and i was just like i don't care i'm just trying it <laughs> yeah if i don't like it that's fine so right. low expectation but I, my eyes started like darting around because I was like, <laughs> what am I tasting? What am I? And every second, like it changed a little bit because I tasted the brie cheese and the burger first. And then the peanut butter was in there. And I was like, wait a second, there's peanut butter in this. And then I tasted the, the jam and I was like, whoa, what, what is this? <laughs> and so everything in conjunction with itself was just so well balanced mm, it that sounds wonderful. I think that's, that's why I, I, th I said it might be the best burger I've ever had in my life because the texture was amazing and even just the balance of the flavors in it, the sweet, a little spiced, the peanuts even, and then salty with like the burger and it, it was incredible. Yeah. I can't wait. <laughs> I guess I'm going today instead of tomorrow. <laughs> uh, Kendall actually went yesterday with some coworkers after I had the burger and she tried a bite of it. She was like... I need to come back for this. And oh. all three of them said that it was really good. And they went at lunch too, so it was a little crazy. But And Drake's is a easy parking lot. There's mm -hmm. plenty of parking. It's next to a Starbucks and the Carabas. Uh, interesting about Drake's, I always found, is it's a burger joint that's a bar that serves sushi. Yeah. <laughs> and, and they have good sushi. I've had it there before. And yep. I've had their burgers too, but like, I always found that interesting. Like you said, she got a teriyaki bowl at the burger bar. Yep. So. Teriyaki bowl. They... They have so many random things on their menu. Yeah. And all of it's really good. I've never had an experience there that I've been like, no, oh, this isn't good. Yeah, I agree. Me too. But if I'd gone just for Burger Week, I would be like, Drake's is my new spot. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going there every day. Yeah, definitely. It definitely was a good day yesterday, and uh, I'm glad we did that. Maybe in the future, we're going to have to plan to do it every day. <laughs> Like wow. starve ourselves leading up to that week. Yeah. Because this year in the Nashville Burger Week, like like we talked about, there was like 30 participating. So we could have really tried any of them. I think we just got a little full and then time was starting to be a little crunch and traffic and stuff. But thinking about trying a few more this weekend. Yeah. I mean, we started at 1030. <laughs> yeah. And like by 330, we we're coming back and it was like five hours out just eating burgers. Yeah. It's a great day. But it, we only were able to try five spots and... Right. We weren't like sitting down and having conversation. It was just like, all right, on to the next. Yeah. That was my favorite is that Fido and we finished eating like seconds. You were like, ready to go? And I'm, we're all like, <laughs> yep, let's go. No. And, and again, obviously most people aren't going to be doing it like we did, but 
there was a lot of it was parking. Yeah. You know, maybe three or four of the spots, really just three that it just took a while. And and most of them were quick with the food out. Um, Fido was packed because I think we got there right at noon. So I don't blame them on that. That took a half hour to get our food out, but it was well worth it. Totally. They're one of my favorite coffee places yeah. in that area. But yeah, it was a great day. It was a good day. And I would do it again. Me too.